does it seem surprising to you or do you feel that it's really a surprise to the critics that a band like Pink Floyd can enjoy number one status for their album The Wall for God knows 15, 16 weeks now when in fact still most reviewers knock down the album as being all those r ridiculous phrases that Let's they... Let's prove the point that we were talking about right. before, you know. And, the, and again, you know, I think that uh, people were looking so much for something new happening in the 70s. Straight as, as 1917 came, 1970 came up, people were looking for that something new, you know, and they, and they waited, they waited for five years until uh, the punk rock movement came out uh, mm -hmm. of London, you know, which is understandable that there was the, the young people were very arrested, you know, and uh, they were coming out of school, they didn't have any jobs, they were getting angry, you know, and uh, and England is very, in England it's very easy to come up with the fashions and the music connected together. I saw this happening in the 60s with the Beatles and, and, and Kings Road and Carnaby Street, you know, and... Beads and, and long hair and all. Exactly, <laughs> you know, and, and, and that kind of happened again in a different form in, the, in, the, in 75, 76 in England, you know, with the uh, Sex Pistols starting right. off, starting it off, being arrogant and being, being different, you know. Right. And it it was like a wheel going back again, you know. Right. Uh, if you remember when the Stones came out and the Beatles came out, they were arrogant and and, and f but in the seventies, I suppose you uh, the same uh, equivalent of arrogance is heavier was heavier in the seventies than right. in, than in the sixties, right. and uh, so again, uh, journalists trying to come up with a with a, uh, with a novelty, with a new story and so on, you know, they really caught on on the punk and a new wave. And some people, that, some journalists that started in the 60s and they were getting 30, 32, 33 years of age, right? They didn't want to <laughs> feel that they were being caught off guard, you know, they, uh, and uh, that to admit maybe they were getting old if they didn't like punk rock or new wave, you know, so they caught right. on. They, they tried to catch on, they went in in the clubs, they tried pogoing as well, you know. Maybe they had a bad spine or they had to go to a chiropractor the day <laughs> after, you know. But they had, they had to write, you know, that this was the new thing. And so the progressive rock was dead when it wasn't dead at all, you know, because uh, people like... Uh, there was only one big band, really, ELP, that split up. Right. But Yes went on and getting a platinum album, you know, Super Tramp went to number one. Genesis went bigger than ever, you know, right. and uh, they got the first gold album in America in 1978. They took a year off. Now the new album is out, and it's, it's doing a top very added well, and I love radio it. it's uh, a great album. airplay album. So you know, I don't know. It, it's an evolution of music that it, at the beginning again was labeled as progressive rock at the beginning, the beginning of the 70s. I hate labels, you know. I think. Uh, even even rock and roll, what's rock and roll, you know? Rock and roll maybe is a 12-bar blues, you know? A very simple music that anybody can pick up an instrument and learn these this few chords and play right. music, which is fantastic. But then if you want to evolve and, and create a good, a good uh, uh, chord changes, good arrangements, you know, you have to, you have to progress yourself. You have to progress your, your creative mind, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you, you become a progressive rocker. It's silly, you know? It's <laughs> just you become a better musician. Right. 